Hello everyone, today we will create this particular photoshop effect. First go to gradient fill and do the same as I am doing right now. You can always slow the video if you think it's too fast for you.
Hello everyone, today we will create this double exposure photoshop effect selection tool and select your object. Get it selected, go to solid colors and select white color and drag the color layer to the bottom. Now go to group tool and increase the width of the image from both the sides. And hit OK. Now select the first layer and duplicate it, then hit ok, go to filter, other and select high pass, radius value set to 8.8 .8 and hit ok. Select overlay. Then go to text tool You can select any font from here Photography and hit OK. Press Ctrl plus T to resize it. Set VA value to 0 Press Ctrl plus T for resizing and press Alt plus Shift for increasing the size of the text Then press Ctrl plus J to duplicate the layer and then drag the duplicated layer to the top and type piece or travel. Accordingly you can choose the text. Create clipping mask. Create clipping mask for both travel and photography text. Press Ctrl to choose more than one layer. Then go to text and change the color of the images. Select white color for these layers and press Ctrl plus J or to duplicate layer then now you can change the color of the images or text to black now drag the both the layers below the image layer now drag this image to the main window you will find the link of this image 
in the description below you can download from there and choose light in press control press T for resizing the images which I am using in this tutorial you will find all the images in the link given in the description below After resizing the image, press Ctrl plus J to duplicate the layer, then slightly drag the duplicated layer over the text. Again, press Ctrl plus T to resize the image. and go to curves and do the same as I am doing right now now go to black and white and black and white the whole image choose brush icon and color over the car image so only this car will be colorful other will be black and white then again go to curves and do the same then drag this light image to the main window again you will find the downloading link of this image in the description then change this setting to the light image Press Ctrl plus T to enlarge the lighting image. Then select the main image layer and choose the hard light for it.
so hello everyone today we'll create this photoshop art in this tutorial so let's get to it first of all create a new layer and use the same dimensions as i'm showing right now So now import the PNG file in the Photoshop. You will find all the PNG files that I'm using in this tutorial in the description. Go check it out. So you can use Ctrl plus minus for zoom out. It will give you more area to work with.
Now renderize the second PNG file. Now choose the third PNG file and click on create clipping mask. Now press Ctrl to select both the files, then press Ctrl plus E to merge both the layers. So you can use bracket buttons to change the size of the brush.
press control plus T to increase the size of the color selection.
use control plus minus to zoom out from the frame and we have our final outcome here Hello everyone, today we will create this simple but elegant photoshop effect. So open your required image in the photoshop. So you can also duplicate the layer by pressing ctrl plus j in the keyboard. So another step is to make your image black and white. Press Ctrl to select both the layers and you can also press Ctrl plus E to merge both the layers. Now use brush tool to color your model. I am fast forwarding this. So all the PNG files that I am using in this tutorial is available in the description you can download from there. Press Ctrl plus T to resize your PNG image. Once you are satisfied, hit on the tick button.
This is an additional step. I am adding my signature to the image. If you want to make your own signature, then mention it in the comment. And here's our final outcome. So, hello everyone. Today we'll create this dripping effect. So, let's get to it. So, create a new layer with the same dimension that I am using right now. So all the PNG files that I'm using in this tutorial will be available in the description. You can download from there. So you can use quick selection tool to cut yourself out from the image and use in this particular manner. And I have already used quick selection tool in my previous tutorial so you can check from there also. If you are facing any problem in cutting out the selection then you can refer to the previous videos. And I'm also giving away free editing softwares that are mentioned in the description. You can download from there. It's completely free. So you can check it out.
press control to select both the layers and then press control plus G to group the layer.
and hence we have achieved the dripping effect. So hello everyone, today we will create this gun shooting effect. So let's get to it. So use the same dimensions for the first layer as I am using right now. So all the PNG files that I am using in this tutorial are available in the description you can download from there. I am also giving away free editing softwares. So you can download all these premium softwares from the link given in the description. So go check it out.
so use control to select more than one layer and press control plus G to group it Now press Ctrl plus Shift plus Alt plus E to make a new layer. Hence this is our final outcome. Hope you guys like the video. Do subscribe. Hello everyone, today we will create this photoshop effect. So let's get to it. Use the same dimensions as I am using right now for the first layer If you guys have any query or suggestion, you can mention it in the comment, I will surely respond to it.
all the PNG files that I'm using in this tutorial are available in the description you can download from there along with that I am also giving away free editing software links so you can check it out in the description I'm sure you will enjoy it
so this is our final outcome hello everyone today we'll create a glitch animation so let's get to it firstly open your image then group it Now go to image size and resize your width and height accordingly. Name the first layer as model and then duplicate the layer three times. So press Ctrl plus J thrice. Now slightly slide the layer towards the left by pressing arrow key. And then do the same for the right by using the arrow key towards the right. Now press Ctrl to select more than one layer and then press Ctrl plus C to merge all the layers. Now rename the layer as RGB. Now we will add some noise to the image. So do the same settings. Click on Gaussian and unclick on Monochromatic. Press Ctrl plus J to duplicate the layer.
press control plus T to resize the image and then press control plus minus for zoom out press alt plus shift when you are resizing the image
Now before going to the timeline, we will hide all the layers except model level. So our glitch animation is ready. Now we will export it as GIF or GIF to upload it on Instagram or any other social media platform.
use the same setting to export this GIF and then you can convert this GIF into video in the format of mp4 then you can upload it on instagram or facebook